We're back in the Whitby Dome again today, and what we're looking at is our 1331 in attack. Now, we're going to start with this today by building attack off 9, showing that and our options, and then attack off 10 and showing our options off that. From those options, once we get into phase play, we can see how we'll integrate that into our 1331 attack. Now, for our players, we want to make sure that you understand this is just a shape to play out of. All the hard work we do in ball and contact, clear out techniques, pass catch, running lines. This is just providing you with a shape to express yourself and for 15 players to play on the same page. The reason we're doing this this week is that trial two, we're gonna take about 50 minutes to integrate all our athletes into this shape so that when we have our third selection trial, we're comfortable in playing out of a shape so athletes can express themselves when we're selecting our provincial uh, age grade teams. Let's see what it looks like off nine. What we're gonna do first off is just show the examples of what we can do out of attack off nine. So we have four options. We're looking at power, which is in this formation, we have king, jack, queen, and the king will just hit the ball up. So a power move. Our second option will be tip, where the king tips to the queen. Our third option is pull, where King will pull to the pocket runner. And then our fourth option is express straight from nine to the pocket runner. So let's see what those four options look like. First, power, and we'll go through two phases. Key in this setup is the communication. So notice we have one of our backs in the pocket here and the jack position. We need early communication on what we're trying to achieve. So you could hear Kobe shouting to uh, our king that we're looking at power, power, power. And it's trigger off nine, accelerating through the gap with footwork and then support on each side. Now we're gonna go to tip with our king, again attacking the ball using footwork to try to engage these defenders, and then our queen manipulating that outside defender. So what we're looking at here is the queen going out to in. By our king using footwork, we're trying to put pressure on that defender to make a decision, sending two attackers at one. Let's see what it looks like. Now, the key in this shape is what occurs at the queen here. So, this queen needs to manipulate that defender. So, what we talk about here is an out to in line. If Marcus used a split step to hit that gap, then that player now is engaged. When the tip has come, we're going to attack that space that was created there. What that also does is set the edge here. By engaging her, it forces the defense to work really hard to wrap around, but by Jenna running this line, we set the edge and then we can go flow side. Let's see what that looks like again. Okay, now, out of this, we want to play expansive rugby. But again, we refer to the term big boy, big girl rugby. We've got to win this first. So by attacking hard through the midline with big athletic people and being clinical at the breakdown, we're then going to try to suck that defense in. Once they have to front up to us through the midline, that's when we're going to get expansive and go out the back door with our pull and our express. Let's see what they look like. The key for us to go out the back door and express 
is what happens at that queen here. So by the queen running that hard line out to in, it literally works as a blocker line on this defender. We're trying to engage that defender, trying to slow their line speed down, so then we create, create space out the back door. Let's see that one more time. Now our fourth option on attack off nine is the direct express ball from the nine to the pocket runner. Now, again, early communication, early communication, we'll cue in our jack that he will then run a support line off the pocket runner. King and queen run the exact same blocker lines, again, trying to decrease the line speed of the defense so we have time and space out As you'll see in a few minutes, this is static right now. I want you to envision we get good go forward ball and then nine is gonna put pressure on the defense. So we have a very good U16 uh, girls player at nine, very athletic. We're gonna show how she would attack the defense and then not only have options of power, tip, pull and express, but also what we call a go ball, where she'll pull, look like she's going a flat ball to king, but the ball skips across to queen, running that hard line. That was attack off nine. What we're gonna look now is attack off 10. This just allows us to put more width in our attack, and as you'll see, nothing changes. We're gonna get the ball to 10, and 10 is almost like the nine now. We'll still have our king, jack, queen pocket. All the options are the same. Power, tip, pull, express. And this time now, we have our 12 in the pocket with 13 out wide. Come on, go ahead. Now coaches, you'll see that we went wide off that phase. We have our two halfbacks, nine and ten. In this, the way we run it, Notice Kobe, as soon as he made the pass from the first receiver spot, he supported his pass. He's become the nine. We're setting up a ram here coming on this angle, and we've got who was our scrum half in the pocket as the pocket runner. And then we would look to rewind the ball or hit it up through the midfield. So nine and 10 working together, and you'll also see in a minute how we utilize 15 as first receiver. Okay, let's take a pause now, and we're gonna look at the breakdown in the midfield and our options from there. We just wanna talk about now what happens if we have a breakdown and then about 15 or 20 meters on the far side. So again, Maddie, a very good attacking scrum half. Maddie, as you approach this breakdown, what are your visual cues? What are the things you're looking through for first? Um, I'm looking at the defense on the lines or four side. Yeah. And I'm Okay, so a kicking option at the back, or in this case, you look, there's two defenders on the outside and a guard. How many attackers do you have with you? Yeah, so if she pulls and puts pressure on the defense, that's now a 4v2. So let's take a look. Maddie would approach the breakdown. Go ahead, kid. Andrew's communicating to her, and Maddie pulls, attacks, fixes, and then we have options on the outside. So here the ball skipped, and notice we have one of our flankers in that 15 meter channel. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But we hit Sam wide, our flanker goes over to support the ball with Andrew, and Maddie close to the ball. Yeah, Rim. Rim. Yeah, you got Jack, you got Jack. You got, Jack. You got big forwards in, yeah. caught pocket, and then we can play. Pull, 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 pull. Yeah, pull, pull. And good job.